Hi everybody, it is, oh God, it's October 1st already, um, Saturday. Uh, I am in uh, Wichita, Kansas right now uh, for the Tallgrass Film Festival. Uh, yesterday we were in Woodstock, New York, and did the Woodstock Film Festival last night. It was the first chance that I've had to actually see what is basically the finished a version of the documentary that Denny Tedesco has created, Denny Tedesco of the Wrecking Crew fame. Um, and uh, it, was, uh, it was quite an evening. Um, the place was sold out. A number of friends were there and uh, it was, it was, everybody was packed in there. And uh, it, it's just weird to see this. You know, just from my standpoint, having spent my entire career as a sideman, to suddenly find yourself the the you know, and your and your compatriots, uh, the focus of a film, you know, uh, it, it's 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 a getting taking some getting used to, but um, it was great. And one of the nice things was they had a thing that they handed out to everybody in the audience to fill out uh, on a scale of one to five. Um, how did they like the film and everything and the woman who was taking care of that we talked to her afterwards and she said that was the first time she's seen all fives uh, for a film that they're doing so that was really exciting that we had we had a really nice time with the Q&A and visiting people but then the then the hard the hard part began sort of um, at, uh, we did it and then had a dinner with some friends uh, afterwards. And then a uh, car picked Denny Tedesco and I up and um, uh, Steve Postel and the producers all flew down to Nashville because tomorrow is the Nashville Film Festival and we'll be there and, and Cooch will be joining us down there. But um, a car came and picked Denny and I up in Woodstock and at 2 a.m., and then we drove to LaGuardia Airport, uh, New York, and then we had a, a 6 a.m. flight this morning um, out of there to um, Chicago, and then a, about an hour, hour and a half layover, and then flew from there to, uh, to uh, Wichita. And uh, it, in a little while, like two hours from now, he and I are going to uh, do some to do some interviews, and then a couple hours after that, then we'll be they'll be screening the film, and we'll be there. And Denny and I'll do the Q and A after the movie, and then early I think tomorrow morning at six or seven, uh, we fly back to Chicago, and then catch another flight from Chicago to Nashville, and. Uh, and then do the uh, the whole thing in Nashville. Uh, I, I think the screening in Nashville is actually, it's the Nashville Film, Film Festival, but I believe it's um, taking place in, in Franklin is where the screening is. And I think it's 3, in the, 3 p.m. Uh, in Franklin. And then the uh, then we're, we're going to have a, a, an evening together with some some uh, people who we were involved with on the project, and uh, and Monday, uh, John get on a plane and fly back home to L.A. and get back to that reality. And we there's a whole bunch of, they're in they've gotten into a whole bunch of film festivals. I know I'm going back down to San Diego. Russ uh, Russ and I, uh, I for sure are going down to San Diego for the film festival down there. And, and then the immediate family has gigs coming up and rehearsals and stuff. So there's a, a number of film festivals that we can't go to because we're going to be uh, getting prepared for, for our work. But it's just it's been exciting. But I wanted to film more last night, and it really wasn't set up for that. Um, and plus, I knew a lot of you know people there. So afterwards, there was a lot of you know hanging and, and talking about it. So there wasn't really a chance to separate myself and, and film. I'll see how it is today. I might be able to do something here uh, in Wichita. But I just wanted to say how excited I am for this and I can't wait for the opportunity for all of you to see this film. It's uh, it, he's Denny's a really great filmmaker and the production team on this is really great. 
and they've done a really beautiful job. I think there's going to be probably a couple of tweaks um, that'll go on before it's fully fully realized for public consumption. But it's it's probably about 98% there right now, and uh, it's still I'm still kind of going wow wow. So um, I'm gonna get I gotta go get ready. Um, just want to kind of pull myself together. I'm really I haven't slept. I've only slept three hours in like the past three days. I'm pretty pretty crisp, but um, excited. Um, you know, running running on some pretty good adrenaline at this point. But I just want to say hi to everybody. I'll see if I can get something posted up later um, from this from this f festival and see what's possible. But for right now, I just want to wish everybody the very best. And uh, thinking about so many things at this point now, the uh, what the devastation that people have gone through in in Florida and the Carolinas, um, it's just you know I, I I got in and I turned down the TV and was just been checking it out and just seeing what these people are going through and it's always that kind of thing where you're sitting there going God we're having fun doing a film festival and and other people just lost everything they've ever had. And it's just, it's, the, the life is such an, an odd adventure that we're all on. And still thinking about the, the, the passing of Joe Chambers, um, who he basically was the Musicians Hall of Fame in Nashville. And uh, we were supposed to be getting together with him this weekend. And then he, he passed away. And he's been setting up, inducting all of us into that and uh, it's, it's just weird, you know, so when you're talking to somebody and, and all of a sudden they're gone. And that, that life force that you, you were so kind of just in awe of is, is suddenly has passed. My heart's with his family and I really will miss Joe very much. And then looking at the madness still going on in Ukraine with the annexation and this faux you know, bullshit election that that Putin staged, and you know, now he's going to try to conscript the people that there to make them fight the people in the other part of the country. I mean, it's just this. It, it just a, there's an aspect of the world that is so insane. It's just it's so hard to come to grips with all the time because you just wish better for everybody for this small amount of time that we are here in this life, and for it to be squandered on any level is really tragic. So my heart's with all those people, um, you know, still COVID's still going on. You know, we go to all these things and, and everybody's guard is way down at this point. And you just worry about what can potentially be around the corner. And it's become just almost unavoidable at this point to be in groups of people that very few are masked up. Um, so we'll see where it goes. But, you know, I'm, I, I'm, as comfortable as I can be having had, you know, both shots and three boosters on it. So I'm, I'm but I still try to, you know, keep some distance and, and do the best I can through this because I still have been dealing with some friends that are incredibly ill from this and uh, long haulers and all that. So it's tough. So my thanks still go out, even though I haven't mentioned it for a while. My thoughts really with all the people who are in harm's way. Uh, working in hospitals and, and police and firemen and postal workers and you kind of name it any job that deals with the public is can be a tough one for them. So I'm going to get going here and I maybe I'll see if there's anything to post later on. Otherwise, I'll get some stuff together in Nashville and, and post that tomorrow. And uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm kind of still blown away by it all. So you take good care and I will be back later. Like like gum on your shoe, I will still be there. Bye-bye.